This video is intended for adult collectors or adults who want a nostalgia fix, not for kids. Although children may appear in this video, they are in it for review purposes only. If you are a child, please make sure to get your parents' permission before watching and make them watch it with you. Welcome to Emily and Hector's Retro Review. <laughs> We recently watched a YouTube video on Spectre Creative's channel where Scott, the toy guru, explained why some of the retro classic figures turn yellow. And he also gave us some tips on how to turn the ugly yellow looking toys back to looking nice and clean again. But not only did he tell us how, he also showed us by trying it out on some of his own Star Wars collection. As you can see, my dad has a large retro toy collection, and some of them have yellowed over time. Just like this 1990 Hasbro Roddy Piper toy, which has a yellow shirt. Which reminds me of your shirts, Daddy. Your, your little armpit. Scott the Toy Guru went step by step on bringing his white discolored figures back to life. I have a few white discolored figures namely Snow Job and Storm Shadow, but I'm curious to see what would happen to toys with a lot more paint deco, like some of my superpowers. Various parts on Robin, Hawkman, and Wonder Woman have all discolored badly, so we're gonna try it on them first. And just because there's been a recent G.I. Joe craze, we're adding Cobra Commander to the group. But before we try anything, I'm going to take the screws out of Cobra Commander because I don't want them to rust. Spectre Creative says that all you need is some hydrogen peroxide and a mason jar. Now take off all of the figure's accessories and place them neatly in the jar. Then fill up the jar with hydrogen peroxide and push the figures down to make sure that they are fully immersed in the hydrogen peroxide. All mason jars have airtight seals, so just make sure that you close it correctly, really tightly, and leave it out in direct sunlight for about three days. Ta-da! We'll check back on these figures in three days, and hopefully by then, these retro figures will look just as good as any toy on the shelf today but it's three days what, what am I gonna do for three days mm -hmm. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue making jewelry. I have a small jewelry business and you can find me on Instagram. The link will be in the description. I sell all types of jewelry, ranging from rings, earrings, necklaces, and a few other things. If you'd like to, go ahead and visit me or visit my small business store on Instagram. I also sell on Depop and soon I'll be selling on Etsy. The QR code is now on the screen. Please visit. EMS Jewelry. And now we wait. Three days later. So there they are. They've been out here for three days. Let's get them inside. Let's take a closer look. Okay, now that it's out of the sunlight, I thought it maybe it was something because of the sunlight, but I think this whole little experiment bleached them. Yeah, the water's still really clear though. What I'm thinking about is where did all the color go? Cause like when you put Skittles in water, the water turns the color of the Skittles. So my thing is why is like the liquid still clear and they bleached? Well, they're not Skittles. Let's get them out of the bottle. Let's see. So here's the before of them like being put into the hydrogen peroxide. They look really good. And then after they look like, you know, they've been stuck inside for like a year and haven't had any, any sunlight sun. or anything yeah. but they had three days full of sunlight I know so <laughs> look at Wonder Woman she was so discolored Hawkman he's so discolored as well his tights number one thing is his tights that's what Skittles look like after you leave them in water yeah <laughs> yeah they do but yeah Robin and looks okay like his whole uniform is alright no right. His, his, look at his face 
Yeah, his face is messed up, but like out of everybody, I think it's because he doesn't have as much yellow and stuff. Cobra Commander, though. They didn't like you say his Cobra Commander. I feel so bad because I was so proud that his Cobra symbol had not gotten messed up. And look at it. Look at mm. it. It's. I mean, it's still there, but it's, it's white. It's still there, yeah, but it's, not it's even. It's pink. Oh, it's pink, though. And then look at his belt, and now look at the sides. But he's that like that red the... stripe on the side. It's all faded. Oh, wow. Everything is faded. This is this is the, my big regret here because although I have multiples of my superpowers, I only had one helmeted Cobra Commander. I have a hooded Cobra Commander, the Melo Way, but this is the only one I had of this one. Oh yes, I was a man. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Daddy Daughter Retro Review. And a special thanks to Spectre Creative for letting us use his footage. And it's not his fault at all that this didn't work. I mean, if you look at his video, please go over to Spectre Creative's YouTube channel and watch his video on the toy whitening. And you'll see that he tried it out on white plastic toys. My curiosity got the best of me. Regrettably, it didn't work. Or if anything, it worked too well. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Bye. Bye. Welcome to. Emma. Sorry. No, we already did that. Yeah. Three days ago. Yeah. Okay. Emily. And Hector's. Retro reviews.